So literal escape artist baby? What the hell? <laughs> yes, my mom, I don't have the picture. My mom has this picture that she took while I was in mid-action of escaping. And you could just see me. I'm looking straight at her and I just have this face of, you know what's about to happen. <laughs> like I was just, I had this just, just giant smile, shit face smile of like, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little shit. You were the one who gave birth to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, with this uh, wonderful uh, mental image, uh, hello and welcome everybody to the Awkward Cast. A and Y and Keyframe wonder about random drivel. And today with us, I actually don't want to take it away. Uh, your, uh, t don't want to take away your iconic way of introducing yourself. So, uh, do you do you want to have the honor? <laughs> Sure, me? Okay, yes. yeah. Um, hey guys, it's me, it's your best friend, it's Carbot, John Burton here. Yeah, welcome to the show, Carbot. So, um, since you already told us who you are, uh, what do you do and why should people care? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to tell you why you should care, I guess it's up to you. <laughs> but uh, uh, what I do is I create cartoons on YouTube. Um, parodying 99% of them are Blizzard games uh, and uh, it's usually about the player experience or the, the weird uh, awkward mechanics or, or the cinematics um, as well and we combined it all whatever um, but we've done a couple hundred cartoons now over the past six years so Yep, uh, and I'm pretty and, sure we've watched most of them. Yeah, and I, and I perfectly picked the one with the slowest start whatsoever. You couldn't have put an underwatch. I, 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 I could use anything, but no, I went with the slowest starting one. Period, which zooms into the city. But yeah, uh, at least to everybody who is playing Hots, uh, uh, Heroes of the Storm, I dare to say that nowadays you are very familiar with this art style. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you can turn that volume down, friendo. Yeah, I, I only have it on 10%. I'm not sure why it is so extremely loud. Um, uh, Skype, I don't know. But yeah, 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 this is the guy who does Hero Storm and Diablo and Underwatched and Starcrafts and all that good stuff. Indeed, indeed. So um, if you play any of those games, I can only recommend checking it out. It's quite fun to watch. Um, you waste and your life playing that those games. If you don't waste your life watching the animations about those games. Do it, yeah. Yeah. But I, I honestly that that would be an interesting, but if you are not playing any Blizzard games and have never played any, uh, especially check it out and let us know down below how, how. Is, is it funny to somebody who is not familiar with it? Yeah. How does it measure up? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can say right. for a fact, um Brett, uh, my boyfriend, he uh he watched the Lunara, the ha ha ha, <laughs> one, oh, yeah. uh, Hero Storm, and he, he, he found it so hilarious. And I was like, do you know what any of this is? And he's like, no, there's just a, there's just a really annoying deer and I think a lava monster. And I'm like, uh, well, okay, <laughs> you, you pretty much got it right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's, that's, that's basically what they are, isn't it? Uh, oh, God damn it, this was loud. Sorry, ah! I'm very sorry to everybody. <laughs> I'm super yeah. sorry. A lot of people but, love yeah. and hate the beat beat. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the, the, the ha 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 is actually an original sound from the game, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think uh, almost every sound we use is from the games uh, for two reasons. One, it makes it easier because uh, we can just find those sounds and then apply it to the cartoon. And two, it's it helps rec like things recognizable, yes. you know, like if certain alts go off or characters when they say things or whatever, it helps to the people who are watching it to understand what's going on. So Sorry, the, the image of Ragnaros with legs is still one of my yes. favorite images. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, so yes. uh, so John, what has been going on in your life? Any funny life anecdotes you want to expel onto the audience and us? What is going on in my life? I don't know. I recently came back from BlizzCon a couple of uh, weeks ago, and uh, I had a panel there. Um, so I, I, I animated live on stage. Um, so that was really cool. That was the second time I did that at BlizzCon. Um, and uh, it, I think it went well. Everyone told me it went well, So I, unless they're being nice. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so I mean, uh, things keep uh, kind of surprising me going 
like the keep like new opportunities arise, which I never thought, uh, you know, doing parody cartoons of a game would ever lead me to. So, um, yeah, we got some secret projects in the works uh, that uh, um, some of them I can't talk about, but um, it's pretty exciting. And then our own projects as well. So, yeah. so, so I guess following you on Twitter, your YouTube and everything for to, to figure out about the secret projects once you can reveal them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that, and uh, yeah, it's um, so. I mean, I keep busy. Uh, I'm trying to take it easy, actually, this this Christmas because uh, I I think I I don't know. It sounds kind of weird. Like I'm doing my passion. I'm doing what I love, but at the same time, um, it's it's like a it's a double edged sword because when you do what you love, then you there's two two things. One, now what do you do in your free time? Mike, so you, you gotta love, find a new hobby. Wait a minute. <laughs> and then two, um, because you love it so much, it's hard to put down, which eventually results in some sort of burnout. So, um, uh, no matter how you, if you keep doing something, it becomes uh, you start to burn out, or whatever. So, um, I have to force myself to to not think about the next episode or this or that. So. Um, yeah, so uh, so I'm taking so that it's a good thing I have a family because they help me keep me balanced. And then so uh, yeah, this Christmas I'm kind of going to take some time off and actually recuperate a bit my creativity and stuff like that. So a two year old toddler keeps you busy? Nah, don't tell. <laughs> uh, she's she's a busy one, that's for sure. Uh, but uh, uh, damn it, I just had a question uh, uh, revolving around it. Um, Revolving but, but, around yeah, the toddler? Yes, yes, but you, can, can you actually still play all the games you make? I mean, as you said yourself, you you do the animations with with nice twists on viewer uh, and player experiences, so you need to be a player yourself. Um, yeah. Which, by the way, the Illidan thing where I follow somebody into my own death into their base happened to me. This is yeah. real. <laughs> yeah, is, this based, is this based on a real one as well? Uh, well, not to me, um, but <laughs> like, like some some mechanics, we just like we're like, oh, I wonder if that's possible. Or sometimes we're just like, you know, who cares if it's not even possible? It's, it's, Let's just it, do it, it anyway. I, I believe it wasn't Falstead, but it was some other hero that Harst no, or it whatever. Was, it was Falstead, yeah. No, no, no. With, but what, took with, off with, and and, no, but what happened him. to me? It wasn't. I oh, believe it you. wasn't Falstead, but it actually happened. And suddenly, I stood there with Illidan behind enemy lines, and I'm like, yeah. Uh-uh. It's real. It's real. It's, I saw it. It was a cartoon. Carrion's uh, leap attack thing can do the same thing. Once it locks onto somebody, it won't let go until you, you hit the target. So that, that, that can do the same thing. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of mechanics in there that are kind of funny that you can, um, yeah. But, 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 yeah, the, the question, can you still enjoy playing the games, or is it automatically you play it and you start thinking about... Uh, uh, like oh that is a fun thing. I mean I know that actually I uh, a while back I did a lot of uh, reviewing related videos, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I actually went through the thing that a lot of people talk critical about. Oh, when you are a reviewer, you 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 destroy stuff. You analyze all the good things until they are not fun anymore. And mm -hmm. I actually had the experience that I am more critical of stuff that I watch. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if something is mediocre, I'm easier to be like, oh, that sucks, uh, than I was in the past. So I'm, I'm wondering if you're going through a similar thing there. Uh, to be honest, I'm kind of like that anyway. You wouldn't <laughs> think it. But uh, <laughs> I, uh, well, so I could, I, I, I do enjoy just on with, you know, my friends or my wife, whatever, we critique things all the time. Like we, like how does that make any sense or whatever but um uh so i'm kind of like that anyway but um as for the playing the games because of uh i'd say the only thing that really kind of i don't know what the word is but i'd say brings things down a bit from enjoyment is the fact that i am in front of a screen the whole, like mm. you know, all day anyway you know what i mean um and uh, that's just it. It, it kind of buzzes your mind a bit. I, I have kind of sleeping problems, so um, uh, that, I think that contributes to uh, uh, sleeping. But um, one thing that did actually really kind of 
kill my enjoyment of playing games. Um, I didn't realize it until later, but I did have a gaming channel that I would, I would try to do because uh, I thought it would be fun and, you know, people would get to know who I am more and, and our team and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it, that that I think was the, the thing that was a, a bit too much. It, it was almost like exploiting too much of my the things that I enjoy and my passion in my own personal life. You know what I mean? Like, cause I'm already doing it already uh, with the cartoons and stuff like that, which is absolutely fine. And I love doing, um, but then I was doing it again with playing the games themselves. And it was just a little bit too much when it came to like my own personal time. You know what I mean? Mm. Does that makes any sense, you know? <laughs> um, uh, so I, I, I haven't done it in a while. Um, I haven't like really done my gaming channel in a while, but uh, so I think, yeah, I think uh, for the cartoons themselves, though, it's 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 a it's a good balance. It doesn't ruin my enjoyment. Uh, uh, yeah, for playing the games themselves. So. Glad to hear. Um, yeah, uh, if, if <clears throat> any anything else you wanted to share about your current going on in life? Uh, no, we're we're making our own game right now. Uh, it's is something that I'm hoping will take off. Um, We'll, we'll probably do a Kickstarter at some point um, once we have a demo that feels fleshed out and, and feels polished or whatever. Um, I'm pretty excited for it. It's kind of unique. And so that's something that uh, I'm, I can't wait to, to show people. It's a new IP. It's completely not parody or of anything else. So it's completely new. Um, and I haven't seen a game quite like it. So I'm kind of excited. You know, it's a little bit different. Um, uh, at the same time, so that makes it a little riskier. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, that's that's I guess uh, other. That's the only thing I can really talk about. That's kind of what's going fair. on with me. Other than you know, obviously the holidays coming up, and I'm excited for that. Um, it just snowed here, so there's that too. Oh, lovely. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we 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 dropped this week the first time below freezing over here as well. So uh, yeah. For, for... What is that like? I, I... <laughs> what is what is what is it like to, to I, I, that to be cold? <laughs> I, I I don't know, Keyframe. Well, what is it like to live where you live? What's going on in your life? It's cold. <laughs> I I doubt it. I honestly doubt okay. between the three of us, she... it is not cold. Oh, uh, okay. Hold on. Let me check what the temperature is right now. Um. Anyway, it's my week. Um. Look, it gets cold at night. We live in a desert. It gets freezing cold at night. Okay. Fair point. Um, but right now it's 63 degrees, so it's kind of like a spring day. So. <laughs> Not bad. Any shush. But anyway, my my week. It has been a week of weakness. Uh, no, that's a terrible thing to say. No, um, my week's been good. D going to the gym, getting those games, having things happen at said gym. Um. But I do have another story about a person who probably thinks I'm weird now because of the in gym. In the gym? Yes. Is, is this a weekly thing by now? Because oh, every what? week Me you going tell to the about gym or people find... well, more and more yes. people freaking out about you in the gym. Okay, this time also, I'm yes, pretty Odie, sure the fear... Also, what? yes, Odie, somebody needs to make the buff key, needs to draw a buff key cartoon uh, image. Are the, you mean in a flattering way or in a Bafsuki way? Bafsuki way, obviously. No, but like, uh, <laughs> nah. But no, this time I think the feeling's mutual because this guy was equally bad. <laughs> so, um, I'm on the bike machine doing the occasional cardio that I do. And I'm just listening to a podcast while just doing my bike thing. And I look over to the side this guy, I don't know where his mind was, but I imagine the Speed Racer cartoon theme going on in his head of da 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 Because he was like, his legs were a damn blur. And part of me was both impressed and also not, because it's a stationary bike. <laughs> so it's like, where are you going? This is not... There's no point in going that fast on a stationary bike, because at that point... It's not actually your strength doing it. It's the momentum of you of that 
affecting the mechanic because I've gone speed fast speeds on a, on the bike and then I'll stop, but my feet are still going super fast because that's the residual of the momentum. And I'm just like, dude, you're gonna hurt yourself. And I'm just looking at this because it's the most entertaining sight because this guy is not a not a trim dude. He is very portly, very corpulent, and and I'm just like. But his legs are like chicken legs. <laughs> so another part of me is like, how are you supporting yourself? Someone <laughs> doesn't skip. Someone doesn't skip leg day, but skips everything else. <laughs> have you uh, have you tried uh, one of those assault bikes? Uh, what's an assault bike? <laughs> uh, it's it's it'll that'll kill you pretty quick. Uh, do you, you can do thirty? You go hard for thirty seconds on it and. I'm winded completely. It's uh, it's resistance. So no matter how, the the harder you push against it, the worse it gets. So oh. you can go as fast as you want, and it just gets worse and worse for you. So it's oh. it's kind of it, it it it'll it'll just sap you completely. Uh, every time I've been on it, it's like it's like really good, but at the same time, I feel like sick after. Um, partially because I'm not really not really in shape. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a good little device. But yeah, we already have art of the week. I'm loving this. Yeah, but oh no, <laughs> fuck! But no, you're the, welcome. The, 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 I'm gonna kill you. I had, a, I had a question. So, did you get the name Keyframe from animation or? Yes, I, I'm an animator and an artist, so oh, I cool. so I, I turned my whole thing as keyframe is the main action of of motion in an animation, and I and yeah. I like that, so I made that my name. But, I like that. I like that as a uh, screen name. That's pretty cool. Did yeah. you do the uh, art then for the? Yes, I had done the art for the cast and and all that stuff, and cool. mimic the Doki Doki style for the video and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. But we're we're not at the greatest part of the story. Uh, spoiler: This guy called me the N word. What? <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, so to get that to that part of the story, I'm just glancing. You are I'm pretty just, pale. How does this work? I don't know. But I'm glancing over at him, not out of the fact that he's big or anything. It's a thing of the bike is starting to make noises. I'm afraid he's somehow going to start moving the damn thing. And and the guy looks over at me and he glares at me and he just goes like <coughs> stops it. And I'm like, oh, oh no, I'm just gonna look away and keep you, going. You made eye contact and, at the gym, how dare you? <laughs> And I put my and I and the I didn't have these headphones at this point. I, I had my earbuds and I was just like, hmm. He's like, you want to say something to me? I'm like, hmm. Ooh, somebody's a little bit sensitive. And and I don't, I think he thought I was a dude uh, because my usual outfit when I go to the gym is my bright leggings. But besides that, it's a I have a giant red hoodie. That completely covers every single feature I have, and I have this really short <laughs> hair. So, you know, I, I could pull off a Mulan in this scenario, I think. And I'm like, and <laughs> that's a great movie, by the way. Yes, it is. But he's like, yeah, you want to say something to me? And I'm like, I'm still ignoring it. He was like, come on, say something to me. N word. And I and I'm just I, I keep going. But like, and I was like, did, huh? Did he just? It doesn't qualify for me, but I'm still hurt. <laughs> like, and then eventually he was like, Ugh, forget about it. And then he went away, and I'm like, and he didn't even wipe down his fucking bike, and I'm like. I dodged a bullet there by not participating in confrontation. Yeah. <laughs> but so, so like, but really seems very, very insecure. But like, I'm just like, out of all the insults you could have thrown to me. Yeah, I, I'm with uh, <laughs> o o Odinoco. I'd be more confused than offended. <laughs> I would be very confused as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just like that person is running on some kind of a. Adrenaline that made him 
stupid. But yeah, besides that, it was just working on more drawings and stuff. Uh, not being happy with a certain convention's management, but I'm not going to put them on blast. Mm. But like, uh, yeah. And then, and then besides that, it's been things that I am not going to talk about on the podcast because then I'll just be depressing. Uh, and then I watched Shira, which I guess I'll I'll talk about in our media because oh, how about me getting annoyed at a certain person in this cast? So this person. I was just, so this person, we're going to name him, uh, uh, good, hmm? uh, let's, uh, Tax. So Tax, I was just messaging Tax, and he, I, he was like, oh, what are you up to? And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm watching, uh, she I'm starting to binge it before there's spoilers. And he's like, dibs on it for the media. And I was like, uh, fine. And then he puts on Twitter. No, oh, yeah, I'm going to no. talk about this on the podcast. I, I put uh, uh, text, I mean text, okay, put yeah. this uh, uh, tweet out before you and him talked. This tweet uh, yeah, was already but, a day old at this point in time. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I saw it right after we had the conversation, so I'm going to put the reality that you put it right after. And then he messages me, I, I'm pretty sure, just the next day or the day after that, being like, oh, no, you could have She-Ra now. <laughs> yeah, because I realized that my media came out this week. <laughs> yeah, speaking of which, how was your week? How was my week? Uh, mostly unspectacular works throughout the, the week. Um, I had a very, very uh, uh, unpleasant uh, connection with RimWorld this week again, which cost me slightly a bit of sleep. Uh, which, yeah, it, I mean, it started on Thursday where I just was like, eh, we're visiting RimWorld and I got stuck there for quite a while. At, 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 at I believe at 1.30 I finally went to bed. I was like, yeah, it's 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 just one more day of work. Tomorrow is Friday. If I if I make it through the day, then it's weekend and I can rest. What I forgot in this context was that I promised my uh, uh, friend Yuri to help mm -hmm. him move all uh, the stuff of his girlfriend out of his girlfriend's uh, flat because she is uh, giving up the flat and they are per uh, now officially and permanently moving together. <laughs> And and he sent a message like, "Hey, meeting at her flat at nine a.m. on Saturday." And I'm like, "Nine a.m. Uh, <laughs> on the weekend." And I mean, you, uh, 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 this this means being there at nine a.m. So basically, my alarm went off uh, off at seven a.m. on a Saturday, which which I I came there and I was like, "Whoa!" Because I still was sleep deprived from especially the Thursday night, but I didn't really catch up on Friday night because it was just Friday night. You don't go to bed early on Friday night. Yeah, unless you're me. <laughs> <laughs> I do uh, sometimes, but yeah. The, the, the benefit of being uh, happily married with child, you don't need to go out there and be wild anymore on a Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we try to get our times in. We, we take turns and stuff like that, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, but yes, uh, yeah, so did so, you have fun playing oh. Furniture Tetris? <laughs> Excuse me, I had to defend uh, fend off the uh, horrible raiders. Oh, no, you mean the, 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 the move. Okay, I also had to defend off uh, horrible raiders. <laughs> um, no, it was actually very fun. We had just throughout the day, we had amazing laughs. Uh, uh, we were, uh, at some point, we were trying to give us each other uh, earworms about uh, opening themes of 80 shows. And mm -hmm. we realized the He-Man theme, even though we both have not been hardcore He-Man fans, stuck in your head very easily. But guys, challenge for everybody, try to remember the Thundercat theme. Uh-huh, uh-huh. This is Siemens, this is Siemens, this is Siemens again. This is Siemens, but Thundercats. I asked you for the Thundercats theme song. No, but, no wait, but, that's Hawaii 5.0. Um, yeah, yeah, but, but that's the thing. So we basically uh, 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 put it, uh, pulled it up on a, a smartphone and uh, listened to it and was like, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a metal guitar, like, but with not really a melody in it, just rah, cool metal guitar in the 80s. Uh, then we have the fantastic vocals who also give a lot of melody. Thunder, 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 thunder cats. 
<laughs> yeah, you're recreating it very well. Um, it, it, it's pretty, pretty not uh, not not something that gets stuck in your head. But yeah, we had a, a pretty good time, but it was obviously exhausting because his girlfriend has uh, a fable for pretty massive wooden furniture. So uh, yeah, we we had fun with those. At the end, when I came home, I was so done. I mean, I was physically exhausted. Uh -huh. I was exhausted from sleep deprivation, and so I, uh -huh. I came home. And I, I I believe I uh, myself watched a bit more Shira and maybe a movie or something. Maybe even played a game. I cannot even recall because yesterday I was like, oh, I'm so I'm so done with the world. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that led to yesterday me messaging like, is everything okay? And he's like, yeah, why not? What? Why? Why are you asking? You everything is fine. You completely ignored me yesterday because I sent him a message about a, a room booking thing, and he and he didn't message me back. And I saw he was online. I was like, nope, it was just me being <laughs> out of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Who will do that to you? Uh, yeah. But yeah, um, so uh, I guess the last highlight of my week was that I then to made it today to the cinema to, um, uh, 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 to, to, to find my own media so that uh, this one up there uh, uh, can, can go for original media of Shira. And yeah, because... And yeah, say this... unpopular opinions, oof. <laughs> Io, okay. Oh yeah. Wait, well, I'm going to, because I've watched the show twice and I have some analytical thoughts. Ooh, <laughs> I only watched it once, so I, I'm still uh, talking about only having it watched once. Let's talk about Shiro and Yanyo. No, today I watched fresh uh, from the cinema. I'm not sure how the international release is. Grindelwald, or the cry, Crimes of Grindelwald. Um, let's see how far I can get without having to put on a spoiler sign. Um, oh, boy. No, I, I, I believe I can I, I can actually leave it pretty broad. I mean, first of all, it's uh, obviously it's a sequel, so you should be what you should. Yeah, I, I guess you have to be, have watched the first one to get this one simply because um, uh, it, it, it is a direct sequel. It uh, has all the characters from the first one. So if you haven't seen it, you will probably be pretty lost about it. Um, then it also has the usual prequel or franchise movie issues like uh, that occasionally it references stuff from the original work. It's like it, it's but here's the thing I, I in my video uh, that stupid prequels I brought up Fantastic Beasts as an example of how to do a good prequel and I would say Grimes of Grindelwald still holds up even so it moves further away from just the personal story of uh, Newt Samantha or the Newt Newt. But what's his last name? God damn it. Newt the Newt. No, I'm pretty sure that's not his last name. <laughs> um, but I, I, Scamander. I, Scamander. Yeah, the Scamander. And um, uh, 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 so why the first one was really about establishing Newt and his friends, his, his gang for this uh, uh, sub-franchise. Uh, and he had his own issues that turn spoiler about the first movie i guess that turn into this bigger thing at the end of it but throughout the movie this wasn't clear however this one is now a sequel so we are now in this bigger event i mean the name is there in the title so i guess yeah grindelwald <laughs> um and um so the, 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 the funny thing is the title, Fantastic Beasts, why beasts have really been the focus about the first one. Now there are still a lot of beasts, so when there are wizard battles, it's less flashy lights, and there are more, there always happen to run beasts, to be beasts running around, which kind of still justifies the title, and also, well, let's new shine, because he is pretty good with Fantastic Beasts, and he knows where to find them. And, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah. You're not forgiven. <laughs> Rightfully so. Um, and I still have to say it manages by mostly focusing on the original characters, where uh, in the original Harry Potter canon, canon you do not know what happens to them in detail. So it still manages to uh, uh, be a very strong standalone. Obviously, the references to the original work, aka the Harry Potter story, uh, uh, grow stronger now. Uh, 
because I don't know, is this a spoiler at this point if you have seen any trailer, you know that Dumbledore is in it. And Dumbledore is a character from the original oh. Harry Potter books, if you're not, if you don't oh know. Oh my oh. god, spoilers! It's I not know, like that right? was I the am... first thing they put in the trailers. As I said, if and... you have seen any trailer, yeah. And I mean, they mentioned Dumbledore in the first movie as well. So you know that Newt has a connection to him. So yeah, we, we, we grow a little bit strong, closer to the original book. It's it's more now, as the title suggests, about the entire Grindelwald uh, 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 war issue. Um and uh, but it also goes through the usual trilogy thing. So the first one in this trilogy is like, hey, let's see if this franchise picks off. But it's still pretty, pretty nicely self-contained. Sing a new hope in Star Wars. It's self-contained. You, oh you, you no! Even... Is this the thing where it's like, oh no, the, here it's the build-up. You better go see the third movie. It oh, so I... is. It's it it it's darker. It's it, I was watching it and I was like, okay. Because I, I, at some point I heard a little child squeak in the uh, in the cinema and I was like, what's the age restriction? Because this movie is kind of darkish. I mean, it's fa still family friendly, but uh, kind of darkish. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a build up to a third part. While the first one was pretty much nicely resolved, the second one comes and gives you... Uh, a, more build up. I, I wouldn't say it leaves you with a lot of open questions. It does leave you with like... Well, we better revolve that soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, I had a great time. I, I was trying to, to revive all my old Harry Potter knowledge. Like, oh, does this, is this character a reference? Mm, uh, have I heard this name before? Uh, I, I, have, I, I, I realized that I have a little bit grown out of being a Potterhead because I could not name everything anymore instantly but uh shame i shame know right I, yeah I, I, if this continues i have to give back my nerd card but yeah overall fa good music movie i only seen it once so probably not too critical but i also had i had no visually very nice very very nice so um i mean not that i have to tell this to any harry potter or at this point i guess jk rowling fan uh it's you have to see it if, if you are not already a fan of J.K. Rowling, start with the first movie. <laughs> Don't watch the second one because you will be lost. And uh, overall, very good cinema experience. Not disappointed. Had a great time. Uh, 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 might, no. pr probably might even, at least when it comes out on Netflix, right before the third part, which I will also watch for sure. Okay, this was my medium. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. You were so engaging and entertaining that's why the chat's pretty much dead thank you please save it i guess or, or... <laughs> no i don't i they, why would i save it i'm just gonna have people hating me oh uh, uh, should we skip me <laughs> really no i mean we can uh, buy no, you some no time. no 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 let's do this also i just realized um i picked the worst outfit of clothing compared to my sheets in the background yeah. I have the my shirt is the exact same color as my bedding, so I look like I melt into my bed if I lift up my arm or if I'm if my body goes off the chair. Like this is like wearing screen. green. Yeah, it's like wearing green in front of a green screen. Did somebody um, say green screen? No, but no, my media for today, which is, we totally uh, did not already uh, spoil. Yeah. Is Shira the Princess of Power on Netflix? Yay! I have thoughts. I have thoughts, ladies mm. and gentlemen. Have you seen it uh, yet, Carbot? Oh, John. I actually no. I I actually saw the the cover yesterday, and I was like, this is is this like He Man, but in like female version or? Well, I mean, that's it, instantly it, what I thought of when yeah, I saw I it. Yeah, I mean, in the eighties, there was He Man had a sister. Uh, named Adora, oh. who turned into She-Ra. This is basically the reboot of the She-Ra franchise. Oh, cool. Okay, I didn't know that. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, because the pose and everything, and then looks like the bad guy almost is like a skull face. So uh, Hordak, yeah. Uh, he is original. Very 80s. <laughs> Very Barbie yeah. girl. In yeah. Barbie world. But yeah, my thoughts on She-Ra. She-Ra review. Um, it's good. I, I really like it. I no, boo, no, let me talk boo, about it. unpopular opinion, boo, no, liking let stuff. About, let, me, let me talk about the good stuff before I get to the stuff that people are not going to like me about. 
Um, the show is good. The style of the show looks so much better in motion than it does standing still. I'm going to say that right now. Everyone was criticizing the art style of the show, but I, I was never on that side of the argument because I was like, it just looks like Voltron with less shading. What are you people getting on about? It looks like the DreamWorks anime style. Oh, Stop getting your panties in a twist. But yeah, then, um, yeah, it just, it's... They revitalized all the characters really well, gave them depth with one exception, in my opinion. I Some of the redesigns are really good. Like, I think this Hordak looks so much better than the 80s one. And I like the different body types and all that, everything that people are having arguments about and stuff. I, I, my favorite character in the show is Bo, who is really the, He's so nice. <laughs> He's such a nice cutie, and he, well, okay, he's one of my favorites, um, but he's definitely up there, because he's just so nice, and he's also very, very he's to the point. Yeah, yes, he's to the point, uh -huh. and he's very encouraging, but, like, one of my favorite lines was from one of the episodes, and he was just like, I know you have problems with trust and stuff, but you have no right to take it out on me. But he wasn't angry about it. He was just a very stern friend. And I'm like, you know what? He, he's just a very well-rounded, nice character. And I liked him. <laughs> but then, you know, there's other characters that I really like. Like, um, I really like Glimmer. I think she's... A, not, not enough people give her credit. Because most... The character most, but though my favorite character for once is actually the main character of the show. Oh, hey. I think Ador Adora is my favorite character. Wow. But the thing is, a lot of people got into the show because of Katra. I have and no I, idea who would do that. I and, mean, and the <laughs> thing is, and and the thing is, I like Katra in the show. She's perfectly fine. And during the first watch of the show, she was my favorite character. And I watched it a second time. She's kind of a bitch, isn't she? Given that I she's a cat, that's kind of weird. I don't, I don't actually like her that much anymore. Because to me, her motivation, from what they gave us... I'm trying to be vague. But from what they gave us, and how much... Ador and the way Adora acts towards her, and gives her so much kindness, and with the backstory that they gave us... It's too flimsy for me to actually be like, I feel bad for you. <laughs> like, she's, I don't think she's a well-written character. <laughs> like, her interactions I'm... with people are well-written. Like, her relationship with Shadow Weaver and then Scorpia and other characters, they're good. Like, I think she's good when she's interacting with characters, but... As a, a from seeing other sympathetic villains be written over the years, she is so on the low end compared to other anti heroes and other villains that have somewhat of a he, this is why they're evil. It's just like you've had so many opportunities to, and there's what would you lose? She has nothing to lose if she went onto the side of good, yeah, absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. And she, but yet she's like, no. I want to cover the world in darkness. And it's like... They, 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 I, 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 have to, I have to agree. They kind of keep portraying her. I mean, we have to be careful. We are kind of tiptoeing towards spoilers here. Um, but yeah, they keep portraying her as this very hurt and struggling character. But uh, uh, then, yeah, as you say, she, she still turns... Uh, sticks with the bad guy, so... Yeah, and the thing is... Okay, she knows something that the others don't about Hordak's world and everything. It, they say it in the first two episodes of the show of like, there's a lot of, okay, so if you know the original 80s She-Ra, She-Ra was a, Adora was part of Hordak's gang because she was brainwashed here. Here she's not brainwashed, but she was raised in the world to believe that the Horde's whole thing is good. And then she finds out it's not. And everything that was said to be evil about everything around it was propaganda. Katra but, knew the entire time that the Horde was lying to him and that innocent people were getting hurt and everything. And she didn't care. 
and the only reason she stayed and everything was because of Adora. But then Adora's like, wait, come with me and join the rebellion and be with friends and have people who care about you. No, I'm just gonna stay evil. See ya, fucker. It's like, you, I can't relate to her and I can't make two cents about what's going on. Now, mind you, maybe in the next season they'll explain things better, but they had a whole episode about backstory. And the episode about backstory made me like Catra less. Yeah, I, I, I noticed it while watching as well. So this might be a thing that actually came would come up for me in a second watch as well. So, uh, yeah, but I yeah, can watching, kind of see. Yeah, but watching the show again um, the second time made me like Adora more. I, I love her as She-Ra and just her... The, the fact she grows into a literal eight-foot-tall lady and... And her interactions, all the princesses, I think Glimmer gets a lot better with a second viewing because she's such a strong character in that she's a relatively young female and she cares a lot about this rebellion and everything. And she's she's not just not making fun of her curviness. She's a well-rounded character. And I really, I really like it. And I think she's a much more powerful character than people give her credit for. And I, I want another season of this. One, to fill in the gaps of what what I was feeling like was missing. And two, because I like this stuff and I want to see more. Also, and this will make sense when you watch the show, Seahawk is amazing. And I love him. Which probably brings me to one of the few criticisms I have about it. Uh, uh -huh. I mean, probably yours about Catra might be an issue for me as well when I watch it again. Uh, I mean... The world is very, very sunshine and rainbows. I mean, we saw Bo earlier with a heart in his outfit, which is authentic to his 80s counterpart. But then again, 80s also don't have the best record when it comes to making girl cartoons. But it also makes sense in the whole it, aesthetic Bright it, Moon it has. Makes, it, it, it makes. It makes sense within the world. And the nice thing is that even if you don't directly connect to this very oof world which i certainly did not it helps that you have adora as a surrogate because she also comes from a more grayish world and, and and it's like even if you cannot relate to it ah, okay all those flower fields ah, 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 but you can see why she enjoys it and this helps a lot however what i once again have a bit of an issue with is like ah guys guys and girls media uh, it's like, okay, I will admit, girl characters don't always get the nicest treatment in guys' medias, media. But but do you really have to return the favor and make... I mean, here we have two... We, we, we basically only have two noteworthy yeah, male characters, Bo, except Bo for the... Bo and Seahawk. And, yeah, and they are both... I mean, they both show interest in girls, so they cannot be gay. But if they wouldn't show interest in girls, I would not not know, because they are both very very flamboyant like but uh, yet but yet it's okay that all the girls are not exactly hetero why is that okay but it's no no no, no. You know, I, I mean the exclusivity the the, the the good thing about the show is you have a complete spectrum you, you have all types of girls but you have only one type of guy Okay, yeah, this is Bo and Bo, okay, Bo and Seahawk are a bit different, but they both are very, very like ta ta. And this coming from <laughs> me, and this coming from me, who is a bit flamboyant myself. So, uh, I think maybe you're projecting your own self criticism no, onto these characters. Maybe I because am, but the fact cause, that because Bo is still a badass while being flamboyant, and so is Seahawk. Uh, but uh, it's 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 still we only have one type of guy and it's not i mean it's it's it's, it's a nice well, break with stereotypes yeah, 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 but it's also uh, yeah this is also yeah the, the evil <laughs> skeleton dude is is a top uh, uh, another top male male representation yeah that's always the thing like okay and, and as you said they are both badass so you have no reason to make them uh, uh, uh i mean Often enough, the critic is like, yeah, they, they dumb down guys to make the girls look stronger, which is uh, silly when the girls are already strong. But why? It's not necessary. But the thing is, is that here they are... isn't dumb. No, he isn't. And he's actually, as you said, badass. It's just, I don't know. 
I, have, I think you need to watch it again. Maybe, and then maybe you'll realize I do. You're maybe wrong. I do. Maybe I shut up now. Uh, uh, maybe as a last thing. So just for direct reference. So this is nowadays. See, like, okay, how did the original 80s character look like? This what? is the same character. What, Catra? Yes, or this just... this is Catra. Yeah, it, she it's looks very more 80s. like... Oh, but yeah, also, also she... she's just a human with a Catwoman mask. She's yeah. a woman that... Can, I think if I remember the 80s cartoon, she's a woman that can occasionally turn into a cat, not a oh. person who's a cat hybrid. Okay. But yeah... And also, yeah, but she she kind of just looks like Stripperella. Like, what is going on here? Kind of. Oh, that was that was kind of the '80s style. Most things are like. I, I just want to. They just look like they're dressed up in costumes. I I mean, uh, uh, didn't more or less all the didn't the entire Shira cast of the '80s? They all kind had of they all had like... to have the same mold because they were all the same doll. Yeah, that... basically, with most characters, it was just same type of person in different clothing. Okay. Yeah. Like anyway. Yeah. He, like he, here we have the old cast. Especially for the women. Yeah. The men got a little bit more variety, but uh, for body types, but um, still just an eighties kind of. I style. like the, the freaking old uh, Catra outfit. Just kind of looks like a slutty shadow weaver outfit. <laughs> like yeah. oh, oh, and. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, but yeah, so we, we talked on long enough. Our guest has been in silence. So what what media have you consumed over recently, Whoa. Mr. John? Castlevania. I just watched, actually. Ah. Oh, the, the, the anime on Netflix. Yeah, Netflix, yeah. Have you guys seen that? Uh, I've seen I've seen part of it. I know that Brett has seen it, but like, uh, what do you have to say about Castlevania on Netflix? I've heard good things. Yeah, I, I really like it. I thought it was cool. Um, uh, I liked the acting in it was uh, particularly like it's like it, it's an anime, right? Like, well, it's like drawn like an anime. I don't know if it's actually it's with Netflix. It's, with Netflix, it's super hard to tell nowadays. Yeah. So, but the acting is is completely. It doesn't sound like the acting you'd get in your regular anime. It. it um, um, and, uh, but, uh, I don't know. I really like the acting. Um, and I'm, again, you wouldn't tell, you couldn't tell by like the kind of art I, I do, or at least that I'm known for, but, um, I like the, the dark kind of gory. <laughs> I, I like that realistic feel where it doesn't hold back where it's like, no, I'm going to kill the guy. I'm going to, if I get an opportunity to chop off his head, his head is going to be chopped off kind of thing. Um, uh, so yeah, I like the kind of mortal struggle there. Sorry for the audio. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't hold back, which is nice. Um, like this, this is right from the beginning, right at the beginning. It's uh, it's pretty dark. It kind of feels Diablo esque in a way. Um, uh, I've never actually played the Castlevania games. Um, I only I know a little bit about them, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it, so from from my point of view, it kind of feels like. Uh, uh, if I were to describe it to, to one of my friends, I'd say it's Diablo meets anime, kind of. <laughs> Diablo 1 specifically meets anime. Uh, uh, who, who would you recommend it to watch and who would you say should stay away from it? Ooh, anyone that doesn't like gore, yeah, I, would, I would recommend <laughs> I it. I hear watch. it goes heavy on the blood. Yes, it does. It's pretty, it's pretty uh, we saw violent. Him. We saw a little bit of blood sprinkling around in there in the trailer. Yeah, it's violent. It's a violent cartoon. So, um, but uh, the animation's pretty good sometimes uh, in some of the fight sequences. Uh, the fight sequences are kind of interesting. Um, I do like the the writing overall. Like not just like the the um, the dialogue, but the uh, it's it's kind of nice. There's actual some consequences to things, whereas a lot of shows brush over that. They kind of go they. Like when something happens, they, it, it, the next episode, it's almost like that didn't happen kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so it's nice ah. that it actually, the consequences do kind of weigh down uh, on the plot a bit, which is cool. Um, uh, and the Dr Dracula, he's a, he's an interesting character. He's not a two dimensional uh, villain. Um, so even, yeah, I don't know. It's, so it's even so, I'm, I'm excited for season three. So, so even though he has a mustache, he does not twirl it. 
Sorry, say again. E even so, he had the mustache. He's not the master twirling kind of villain. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's not. Yeah. I, I, I mean, mean I, yeah. I assume yeah. that is him. But yeah, uh, wait, him. Uh, there's the really important question that uh, no one has asked of the oh. Castlevania show: Are there chicken in the walls? <laughs> chicken in the walls. Because in the <laughs> game, in the game, oh, you can break the, the walls. Yes, I've, in, again, I haven't played the games, but. Uh, yeah. How dare you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm just coming from a, a purely viewer perspective. So. I mean, that's a, that's an interesting perspective because most people who want to watch Castlevania have played the games before. Which is so. also pretty good to know that, okay, this is actually a show that works by itself if it can give you yeah. such a good time. Uh, it holds up, being... yeah. Nice, nice. That's you don't have good. to play the game. Yeah, I mean, it holds up. I mean... You, you pro there's probably yeah, I mean, tons of references in there and stuff like that that I would have been like, oh, cool, if I played the games. But at the same time, I was just enjoying it anyway. Um, and, yeah. the, and the beauty of it, 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 this is the reason why I haven't picked it up yet, because I'm always a bit uh, skeptic about anime on Netflix. Because, yeah, in Germany, originally original anime from Netflix comes in Japanese and in German. <laughs> and I prefer watching them in English dub. Yes, I'm a dub watcher. Don't judge me, internet. Hey, du du dubs over subs, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but but then again, the English market is a little bit bigger. Yeah, we have blood ray. Um, the English market okay. is a little bit bigger and therefore uh, can put more budget and effort and profession into their dubs. So they are on average better, which is why I prefer watching at least the English dub over the German dub. Uh, but yeah, uh, so not English dubbed anime on Netflix is for me like, <gasps> but yeah, this one, the Netflix originals, they usually come with English, which is beautiful. I'm liking it. It's also a little bit s slower pace, which I like too. It, it takes its time with some things, um, which is kind of refreshing for me because a lot of uh, shows or movies feel like they have to have action all the time, you know. Um, so, and it, which, I mean, in a way, to me, kind of comes across as not confident in your story if you feel like you need to have action all the time, like you're not confident in the characters, or whatever. So, it's really refreshing to me to. It, it takes time to explore the characters, have dialogue, and then there's action as well. So, agreed. Also, yeah, yeah uh, um, I guess we also should now move on to the questions in the, uh, since we have. We are already a little bit advanced in time. Yeah, so it's 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 a Q and A. Yeah. So I so, actually um, have one on Twitter, which I was wondering myself in the past, uh, asked mm -hmm. by uh, Mint Crystal. Uh, I always wanted to know how Cardboard Animation's logo was created, and I was also yes, where does a dinosaur with a satellite dish for a, a, a collar riding a car with a knife in his hand come from? <laughs> What is the story here? It was a Tuesday <laughs> afternoon. Let, yeah. let me put it with uh, 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 that people know what we're actually talking about. Right, I probably also have a bigger one somewhere. But yeah, p please explain yourself. That is mm. is a combination of stories, uh, and it's purely. It was okay. So let's start. Okay. <laughs> so the green car, the yeah. green car is my first car that I ever okay. Uh -huh. drove. Okay, that's all that has to do with it. But the reason why the name Carbot is even the name, I'll start with that actually, because that uh, at least starts with the car. Um, so the name Carbot starts because me and my brothers would, if you ever played Diablo two. Uh, we'd, pay, we'd be playing Diablo 2, and in Diablo 2, when you kill a boss, if you're with other people, they could, anyone can grab those items. So, mm -hmm. um, so you create a private game, so only you and your friends could pick up the items and figure out who wants what, whatever. Uh, so my brother would always, I don't know, what, no explanation behind it, but he would name the game Carbot. So that was years ago, and then so when I was creating the YouTube channel, I was like, what should I call the YouTube channel? I was literally just sitting there. With like you know the text uh, line blinking and I was like, and then I thought of that and so I went with that and so then I was like I need to make a logo. What, what's the logo? So I felt like okay, well it's got to be a car in it, I guess. So I put my car, and then just for no reason at all, um, 
again, the same brother described. <laughs> It's just, a, it's just a mishmash. Can, can, can we get him somehow in this call? We need to win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, but uh, the Robot. same brother uh, called uh, the, the the dinosaur. Was it a Dilophosaurus in Jurassic Park? Um, the one with the you know. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That he called it. A, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He called it a satellite dinosaur. So, so now there's a satellite dinosaur on top of the car. Obviously. And then the. One of the games I've had the most fun with, that well, laugh the most rather, um, couldn't stop laughing is uh, if you ever played Counter Strike. There's a mod called Zombie Escape, or the Zombie mod, and it uh, it's 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 so much fun. I don't think people play it anymore because uh, a lot of zombie games out there now. But it's it's such a fun game. Uh, so it's modded, and and all the zombies they're modded to look like zombies, but they still. Uh, have knives in their hands, so so we threw a knife in the die. I don't know. It's a it's a mystery. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, so that's three stories, kind of four that have just kind of made up this logo. It, it, yeah. So it's a great question because it it makes no sense. So we threw a knife in his hand. It's a satellite dinosaur standing on top of a green car. Name Perfect. <laughs> if people want to know why I spazzed out for a moment there, so you know my little joke of it happened on a Tuesday. I looked up when Carbot made his channel. No. <laughs> Click on that link. Is it Tuesday? <laughs> on what happened on that day? It said Thank day you. of the week, Tuesday. Oh boy. <laughs> day of the week, Tuesday. That's funny. I, and also, no, I don't know why Mitt Romney is there, so never mind. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, that's a good answer uh, for something that makes no sense. Um, yeah. But on to the Discord. <clears throat> Charlie asks, now that the year is not far from over, what is the best and worst meme that has come from it to you? Ooh. Meme review. Uh, oh. Oof, oh, let me, okay. let me okay, so what is the best meme all around? So what is, what is your guys' favorite 2018 meme? Uh, I mean, did, 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 didn't we have the, um, the unfaithful boyfriend? This was this year, right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, the, the unfaithful boyfriend, because it's actually so... It, you see it, you understand it right away. I'm, uh, I, I guess I can just put it on. Uh, on oh, God, face. Full boyfriend meme. Ha, there we go already. Nice. It's it's uh, it's very easy to understand. You don't even need any background like with the uh, uh, butterfly meme. Do I have any? Come on, here. I This is not saying anything. I'm just opening the first one I found that... Oh, God damn it. I'm, I'm doing this show for how long? <laughs> so, yeah, just putting on the first one. Don't judge me about the context itself. So yeah, it's it's, it's yeah. easy understandable. Yeah. Why this did is, you find it's the first one? That's good. No, no, that's good. I, I, those it's memes good. are great. Yeah. But yeah, you understand it instantly, and it it, it, it has a lot of it, it expresses everything. And it's very applicable, and you don't I need context. The girl's right. face is perfect on yes, the right. I know. <laughs> uh, uh, also, it's also, what meme? Uh, uh, re done. Also, the, the amazing thing is, where is it? Uh, uh, okay, I can look if I find it later. But um, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, you don't need background like the butterfly one where it's like, I, I don't get it. And then somebody explains it. And then it suddenly becomes a smart meme. But no, this one works in and of itself. It's perfect. You can actually use it to explain stuff. I love this meme. Next, mm -hmm. who, who, other favorite memes? Uh... It's obvious what my favorite meme of the year so far is, which is my good old little bongo cat. Ugh, is it, is, does this count as a meme? Yes, it's a meme. It made an entire Twitter of just people making different bongo cat videos. Okay, that, I guess that's a point. That's a point. I, I guess the only thing that... I mean, how can yeah, I not like good. this? Look at this precious thing. This is, reminds you that there are good things in the world. Oh, oh I, found a, yeah. I found a piano. Oh no, get it away from him. No. Ha 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 ha, you can't stop me. Uh, I guess the only other thing would probably be Bowsette, if that counts as a meme. I believe or it the counts as a meme. The oh, entire, yeah. 
the entire let's put a super crown on every single character in existence I, I, meme. I, I, I guess let's just call the meme super crown and this includes both that, so... Uh... Yeah, but, so yes. both of those memes, and I like uh, I like uh, both of them because they inspired the creativity. Because people had to edit the videos, and people had to make all this artwork and all this stuff. So, hooray! So that's oh, all. Oh look, the artist prefers a meme that creates creativity. Typical. <laughs> so, I'm not the one who picked a socialist, unfaithful it boyfriend. Was oh. the anyway, first one. Anyway, John, what's your favorite meme so far of the year? <laughs> Uh, the, the, the first one is pretty good, actually. Um, so I might, I might have to say that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm trying to blank, but th those ones are always good because you could, you don't even need to use words. You could use pictures like logos or yes. something. You know what I mean? Like, yes. Yes. Uh, that, that's why it's so good is, is it's a, it's a pretty, you, you well, as soon as you look at it, you can laugh because you don't have to. Yeah. There you go. There's one. Um, yeah. but, uh, yeah, so. Uh, that, that's a that's a pretty good one, I'd say. I'm is that is that only this year too? It felt like it's been around for I a while. I know, right? I that's the weird thing to think about. That yeah. there's been so many memes that have happened this year. Uh, but worst meme, worst meme of 2018. The meme that when you saw it, you were just like, oh, let this die. Oh, that's a that's a tough one. I guess I mean I guess the obvious one would to, would be Tide Pods because I really just oh don't gosh. want to believe humanity is that stupid. This is really that's is that uh, was that was all the way back in January with Ugandan knuckles. Oh yeah, that's right. Because they're like we're starting out 2018 like this. That is, I but yeah. does this really count? I, I, I have the feeling I ask this for everything now, but Look, does this we, really count as a yes, meme? Yes, it was a meme. It's on the Know Your Meme thing as one of yeah, the first memes of 2018. They are desperate for content. How do you spell no, Tide Pod? I, I cannot even bring a picture. T I D E, like the word Tide. Ah. Tide Yes. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I guess this qualifies as a meme. Yeah, oh, the yeah. But I guess besides that, I real I'm trying to think of other memes I don't like. Uh, the thing is, I'm trash. I it, like it, a lot. I just wanted to say that you're I'm trash. The person, so I'm the person that will retweet the "So guys, we did it" meme, even though no one else in my friend circle knows who Pyrocynical is, nor knows the point of that meme. <laughs> so it's like, uh, yeah. So I'll just say Tide Pods. The worst memes are the ones that make you think less of humanity. Uh, I, I, oh, I, I might actually have one. I'm totally not reaching and trying to come up is with... Is it the moth? The, the what? <laughs> the, the one you keep saying is the butterfly meme. It's a moth. It's a butterfly meme. You kept saying, like, the butterfly meme you have to understand, and then it becomes oh, yeah. a club. No, 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 I, I like it. I like, yeah, that's the point. The moment you understand it, it suddenly is a, 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 a clever meme, and I like it. But... Um... Yeah, no, no. Uh, oh, I, I go for the uh, I go for the most brutal one, right away. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because I liked it in general, and I might have participated in spreading it. But uh, overall, it became it is also very spoilery, and uh, uh, I don't know. As a meme, it's it's on the it's, it's, it's you often enough go gets very cruel. The I don't feel so good meme, and if oh, you. Yeah. Yeah. And if you know Full Metal Alchemist, this is brutal. Wait there. Wait, 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 Oh, but what about you, John? What is your worst meme? Or are you just going to say the I don't feel so good meme? Uh, well, I mean, the cringy, the, I mean, if you've been following recently, don't you guys have phones? Have you guys, Diablo Immortal, have you guys seen oh, that? Yeah, that? Oh, yeah, that. Oh, yeah. You were so in ground zero for that, buddy. Yeah, I was, I was right there, right at the front, so. Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> uh, always cringy to watch, and yeah, so. Oh, don't you have phones? Okay, mm. okay I, I, I can't find an actual me uh, memeified version of it, but 
yeah, we all know the moment. Oh, yeah. yeah. It kind of reminded me of uh, from E3. I Was it the E3 of this year where they announced that new Dota game, but it was like a card game or something, and you could hear the audience immediately change their tone of voice? Like you see the Dota title, and they're like, yeah, yeah. and then Legacy or something, and you're, oh. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, It's all going that way. Oh, I, yeah, fa- so... I found a phone ver- uh, a meme version. Oh, no. <laughs> stop, stop it. Okay, out of memes and into the frying pan. Denim Ninja asks, what skill that you have no previous experience in would you most like to learn if you had the time and or opportunity? I, I guess what's if a, What's I, a skill you want to learn? If I say drawing, this one will punch me. Probably, uh, probably knowing how to work on cars like automobiles that'd be nice to know that'd be really handy so yeah that mechanics (laughs) wait so so what is your skill max you want to do you want to draw i won't punch you i'll just judge you silently fair enough so 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 yeah i i would really much like to get opportunity to start drawing you know (laughs) I can hear that drawing tablet yell, help me, help me, <laughs> use me, please. I mean, that's the thing, I have the opportunity. <laughs> then why don't you? I don't know. I mean, I'm talking to the wrong people when I say like, hey, sitting down and being creatively active is so <laughs> hard. And- you guys probably... I swear, w- w- when I visit in March, we're going to do a drawing stream, and I'm just going to sit next to you, and every time you're like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore, I'm going to slap you. <laughs> uh, it'll be entertaining for someone. No. But, uh, but but I all kidding it... aside, yeah, I would really like to get into drawing, but the, the, the starting hurdle is it's, it's so hard. <laughs> Where's my violin? Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Um, I guess mine would be, speaking of string instruments, mine would be playing the guitar. I had so many opportunities to learn how to play the guitar. Yeah, I actually owned a guitar for a long period of time. And now you uh, have a boyfriend a... who owns one, so... Yes, but he won't teach me. <laughs> he won't teach me, so all I do now is just grab his guitar and play a not chord and then just scream lyrics but the thing is i just want to learn to play string instruments um because my cousin used to play violin my other cousin played cello um but i was always the woodwind i i'm a clarinet player i i played clarinet for nearly a decade and i also know how to do percussion instruments i can compose um music when it comes to woodwind instruments and percussion stuff but string instruments is just like I I could pick up a violin and try to play it and all you'll hear is cats dying it just the I I think it's just the the chord part of making the stuff with your hands up here that makes no sense to me when you come from a place where it was buttons and breath control now it's just like how you move your fingers it's just weird and I don't like it but on the other hand I love guitar solos so it's like what is this strange conflicted dynamic I'm feeling of I want to learn you but I don't like you at the same time (laughs) Uh, but yes uh, one more question I I have another one on Twitter actually oh yeah which which is guest guest specific specific. I tried to find a fit in visual for it but uh, I did not in time so by Toffer Doll who asks is Medivac Pilot and Sergeant Patches the greatest love story ever written? <laughs> I think that's for uh, for you to decide, but uh, I hope so. <laughs> why, why can I not find a picture of those two? I mean, we, the... we have an interesting ending for them. So, oh, uh, oh. next, yeah, yeah. So there's a there's an ending plan. So, what is this Stay from? Uh, Starcraft. Starcraft. Yeah. Oh, our, the, our cartoon the, series. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. For, for, for this, it's Sergeant Patches is one of the Marines who happens to have a patch Patches on him, yep. uh, and yep. he's a recurring ca- model or character or whatever. No, yeah. la- later even a character. In the beginning, it maybe was it's, a model, it's really, but it's just point. I mean, yeah. 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 It's, it's it's more so for 
the people that care, like characters are more so for the people who really want to get into the series. Um, so it, it, they're easy to miss if you aren't really paying much attention. Uh, but yeah, the, yeah, it's a character, and then the medic uh, is the love interest for him, and um, and uh, yeah, they've kind of been reoccurring characters, and slowly over time built them up as as such. So yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. And it, it's it. I recall that uh, when I saw it, it was like, oh, when they actually, when when wait, he he thinks she dies at some point, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and he's like season. super distraught she, and everything. They're, they're falling, and the atmosphere is burning them up. And so, because she's a medic, she's like, no, I'm healing you. And then so she. Uh, assumably dies, uh, and he is also uh, burns up the atmosphere. Uh, and then they they fall into the ocean, and she's lost forever until he, you know he, he's found again at the end of the the most recent season. So, yeah, it's uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I never thought I would start <laughs> creating like characters and story arcs, but um, uh, from Thank that series. But we kind of just slowly started to, and it's been fun. It's actually it's really given me the motivation to. Uh, because StarCraft's our longest running show, so it's it's um, kind of you know going to all the corners of, of the game to to f f you know figure out content. But the story has I think driven the content, uh, which is good. So it's kept me motivated. So we have one more season for StarCrafts, and uh, then the story is over. Oh boy! So then it'll all come to a close. Oof! Oof! Y you know this. Uh, Blizzard needs to make new games. Yeah, yeah, hearing this very touching uh, arc and story of something I haven't watched yet, and then I'm just kind of like, uh huh, mm hmm. Mm. It, it makes me feel awkward. A and Y and Key say hi to the people in the chat. The meme I've seen on this live stream and talk about random crap. It's time for awkward cast. Random is guests the and funny cast. gags is the awkward cast. Artists and analysis, whoa, whoa, whoa. you do not want to miss the awkward cast. It's the awkward, it's the awkward cast.